My name is Haikal and I would like to give the introduction of my group topic, which is uh, about site the barrier process. So we can see uh, this example of the site or okay. I will introduce what is the definition of the bauxite. Bauxite basically is a sedimentary rock which has high concentration of aluminium. It is world main source of aluminium and gallium, as we know, because of its uh, high content in aluminium. Okay, what, why we need this barrier process? Barrier process basically is a principal industrial which uh, means of refining bauxite in order to produce aluminum or which is called aluminum oxide and was developed by Carl Joseph Bayer which why which why this process is called Bayer process in simpler words it means uh, we must do the process to get the aluminum all inside of the bauxite okay that's all for the introduction right hi my name is Muhammad Zulaki Michael. Uh, and now I'm I'm about to explain to you about the the flowchart of the Bayer process. Right, as we know that the Bayer process involves four main stages, which are um, digestion process, uh, then we'll go under clarification process, or we can call it as filtration process, and then precipitation, and lastly uh, go through under the calcination process. Right, so at the start. The bauxite ore is um, dried, crushed, and ground into powder. Uh, into powder, right? So then it is mixed with preheated spent solution. Right, lime here is is added uh, to increase the solubility of alumina, and resulting mixture is pumped into the pressure digestion, uh, pressure digesters, uh, along with the solution of uh, soda ash and caustic solution. Um, resulting in caustic soda uh, will pump it uh, along the mixture into the pressure digesters and then uh, the, the operation proceeds at the uh, high temperature um, using the pressure in digesters. The range of temperature uh, that I use here is depends on the type of um, bauxite that we use. Either it is uh, gibbsite, bohemite, or diaspora. So for the gibbsites, we use the lowest temperature, uh, which is about 1,400 degrees Celsius, while for bohemite, uh, the highest temperature is used, uh, which is about uh, 3,000 uh, degrees Celsius. And then the slurry containing uh, slurry containing dissolved sodium aluminate and mixture of metal oxides called red mud here uh, is Remove uh, in the clarification process. Right, so the red mud is washed to recover the chemicals and is um, disposed. The aluminate solution is cooled and seeded with fine crystal, right here, fine crystals of aluminate uh, alumina trihydrate to crystallize the hydrated alumina in precipitate tanks. The alumina is precipitated as trihydrate as crystals which are then washed and then calcined in rotary kilns or um, uh, red uh, fluid bed calcinus to produce the aluminium oxides or we can call as the alumina that we want. The rotary kiln temperature is around 1200 up to 1300 degrees celsius to remove water of hydration which then makes the alumina stable for use in the whole herod process. So, that was a brief introduction about the Bayer process. Now, I will talk about the reaction equation of Bayer process. There are a few steps that needs to be done in the Bayer process. The first step is digestion. Bauxite ore is being crushed, melted, and then heated with sodium hydroxide at a temperature of around 150 until 200 degrees Celsius. In the bauxite, aluminum compounds are present as gypsites, bohemite, and diaspora. The next step is filtration. In this step, the mixture is clarified to remove the impurities. Either the alumina and silica, other components present in bauxite, does not dissolve. The solids 
which are not dissolved will be settled down at the bottom forming red mud. Then this red mud is discarded from the solution commonly by using rotary centra. The filtration process converts the aluminum oxide to soluble aluminates as per the question below. After that, precipitation. The clear remaining mixture is added to precipitators by using heat exchangers, which turns the mixture from heat to cold liquor. Silica is precipitated from the mixture because heating. Crystals of aluminum hydroxide are discovered in this step. Some amount of aluminum hydroxide discovered in this step is used as water treatment chemical. So for the last step is calcination. As you can see, 90% of, of the gypsum manufacture is converted into alumina by washing, drying and then heating aluminum hydroxide in a rotary kilns of flash calciners at temperature 1010 until 1260 degrees Celsius. Okay, I think that's all from me. Now let's move to the next part. Thank you. Next, the unit process of Bayer process. It is defined as the chemical process of any metal extraction such as roasting, electrowining, smelting, and etc. These processes are commonly used in alumina plant and there are four stages which are digestion, clarification, precipitation, and calcination. Beside the process, hull herod process can further extract alumina to aluminium. So this is the full diagram of alumina plant retrieved from Encyclopedia Britannica. As you can see here, the arrow shows the direction of all to next stage gradually. The dotted arrows are the rejected that has to be sent to the required step. This show the localities where every stages take place. Stage 1 large pressure tank called digester, stage 2, filter press called blow-off tank, stage 3, precipitators, and stage 4, rotary kin calcining, or as you can see here, the machine there. So firstly, oxide is layered with a solution of caustic soda, which is sodium hydroxide and pump into the digester. The ore is exposed to steam heat and pressure. The sodium hydroxide reacts with the aluminous mineral of bauxite to form a saturated solution of sodium aluminate. This is the chemical equation. But however, insoluble impurities called red mud remain in suspension and are separated in further step. Next, the mixture is passed through a series of pressure reducing tank called blow of tank where the solution is flashed at two atmospheric pressure. Coarser materials, for example sand, is removed in crude clones called sand traps. Final residue is settled in ranking thickness with the addition of synthetic flocculants and solids in the thickener overflow are removed by cloth filters. The clarified solution is further cooled in heat exchanges, enhancing the degree of supersaturation of dissolved alumina and pump into precipitators. Next, alumina hydroxide. Aluminium hydroxide crystal are added to the solution in the precipitators as seeding to increase the crystal separation. The seed crystals attract other crystals and form agglomerates. These are classified into larger product size material and finer material that is recycled as seed. The product size agglomerate of aluminum hydroxide crystal are filtered, washed to remove entrained solution and calcined in a rotary kilns at temperature in excess of 960 degrees Celsius. The pure alumina or aluminum oxide are in dry, fine, white powder. It is half aluminum and half oxygen by weight 
bonded so firmly that neither chemical nor heat alone can separate them. As you can see here, the Red Mud Lake, also known as bauxite residue, is a man-made lagoon that waste mineral were dumped into it since no commercial usage yet. Right, before we ending our video, I'm Hazman Arim bin Kairunizan will make some conclusion from this topic. Okay, F first what we can conclude is Bayer process involves complex thermodynamic relation as it equates a mixture of solid, liquid and gas phase. Second, in the ejection section of the Bayer process, alumina present in bauxite is extracted by dissolving in hot and concentrated sodium hydroxide solution. Third, the solid waste from the digestion process known as a bauxite residue or red mud is required to be separated from the pregnant lika containing sodium aluminate as quick as possible in order to reduce the hydrolysis loss of alumina. Next, in this process, as the amount of red mud decrease and the amount of hydrate increase with increased alumina conversion, reduction in the amount of red mud become more significant if the amount of red mud produced on dry basic per kilogram of hydrate is analyzed. For the last one, alumina oxide extraction increase with increasing temperature. However, rate of extraction decrease as temperature increase. We hope you guys will get some knowledge from our video and don't forget to like and share our video. That's all from us. Thank you so much.